Welcome back. Uh, we are still sticking with home improvement because this is festival season and we want to look at that theme. It was a good second quarter earnings from crop and consumer. The company continued to gain market share in fans and in several other appliances. Shantanu Khosla, Managing Director, Crompton Greaves. Consumer Electricals joins us. Good morning, Mr. Khosla. Thank you very much for sparing time for us. Uh, if you can uh, give us some idea of how October has panned out in terms of demand. In fact, September, October in volume terms over the same months last year. Yeah, um, if, if we look at the last quarter, really July, August, September, every month our growth rates continue to improve versus year ago. August was better than July, September was better than August. Uh, in fact, if, as we declared with our results, overall we had a strong value growth in uh, double digits for the quarter driven largely by volume and uh, our ECD business, our core business, for example, in the quarter grew at about 21% uh, over the previous period. We are seeing similar trends continue through October also. Uh, Mr. Kosla, good morning. I wanted to understand, have you seen any benefits up until now from the government's uh, anti-China and pro-localization stance? I mean, has there been an incremental improvement in demand because of that? Uh, we don't really think that there's anything in our categories which was particularly material, uh, which you could identify and isolate, because uh, in our categories, actually, if I take out some material which we import for lighting, you know, chips and things like that, there isn't really that much which is not already domestically produced. We make the vast majority of the product we sell in uh, India, either in our own factories or through dedicated vendors. Well, um, Mr. Khosla, you know, it would be better to compare year on year because, uh, you know, if we looked, if, if, if we compared ourselves over June, many of us would look very good. Uh, I'm looking at your year on year numbers and consumer electrical, uh, electrical consumer durables have grown 18% in second quarter, even year on year but not so with lighting. Lighting products are flat year on year. So if you can give us, I mean, um, uh, that yeah. the, there is a suspicion that probably there was a lot of pent up buying as well because uh, towns were shut down. Uh, therefore, I'm asking you whether October compared over, compared over last year was as good, better and how will Q3 as a whole look? First, uh, on lighting, just to clarify for the last quarter, while the overall business was flat on lighting, versus year ago. The two parts of our business, the B2C business and the B2G, the government and institutional business, performed very differently. The consumer facing business grew in double digits, both in volume and value. It was only the only segment of ours which has continued to have challenges is really our institutional and governmental lighting business, where obviously currently the orders uh, are still uh, slow and have kind of dried up. But the consumer facing business has grown significantly across the board in the first quarter. We are continuing to see growth trends as we look out in the early part of uh, this quarter through October also and growth versus a year ago. Of the 375 basis points margin expansion that you saw in quarter two, 275 basis points pertain to cost saving initiatives that the company has undertaken. Um, are there any more cost saving, uh, you know, uh, initiatives that you have that will spill over into the second half, thereby aiding you with your margins further? Oh, yes, they are. Because like I think I've talked before, an aggressive cost saving project is sort of strategic to the company and we've been doing it for the last four or five years. So as you think about the quarter's cost saving, you really need to break them down into two buckets. One is continuing work to make our products, processes, and organizations more efficient, which is a journey we've been on for the last five years. That will continue. And that is actually what has enabled us over the last few years to now become the most profitable company in the space. Mm -hmm. In this particular quarter, like the previous quarter, there were some cost savings, mm -hmm. which have to be considered a temporary, which we did due to the whole COVID situation. For example, advertising. In the first quarter, we cut back completely on advertising. 
In the second quarter, we came back on advertising towards only the second half. As we move forward, all these investments have now been restored from about the middle of August. So those will no longer reflect as savings. But on the other hand, they're all investments which would help further drive the top line. Mm -hmm. But the systemic cost reduction programs uh, where we aim and have frankly delivered about two points a year. Part which we pass to the bottom line, part which we reinvest in uh, capability and growth. Those will continue. Okay. No, I would assume if you, are, you would have taken salary cuts and that also is restored. We we never took any salary cuts at all. Okay. We did not reduce cut any salaries. We did not cut any okay. headcount. Okay. We continue to invest. Uh, so that, being said, mm. that being said, we normally give increments in April. We held back the increments uh, over the first and second quarter, but now have fully restored the increments also. Okay. Now, the reason why I ask that is, therefore, what should we consider normalized margins? Should it be 14% or, uh, I mean, your number? Some, somewhere in the range of 14% because the way we look at it is 14% uh, is industry leading margins. We will continue to take inefficiencies and costs out of the system. But our approach is now to reinvest those savings in various capabilities behind our go-to-market and behind our brands to continue to accelerate share gain. So revenue for the full year you think will be as good as FY20? Well, there's uh, two, two things to consider. One, uh, obviously, the first quarter we just lost yes. about six weeks of sales. Sure. The, the second thing to consider is right now we are gaining share and we're growing top line at a healthy rate. The one headwind which we do have to consider for the rest of the year is the fact that at a macro level, mm. there is no doubt that the GDP growth rates are going to be much lower than one would have anticipated 12 or 18 months ago. Okay. Those macro impacts will create some headwinds. But we believe we are well positioned to compensate okay. by gaining share. All right. All right. So That's very that positive idea. to hear, Mr. Kosala. Thank you very much indeed for joining us with your thoughts on market trends. Uh, we have to call it a day uh, on Bazaar with the news that the Sensex and Nifty are under pressure, but Bank Nifty is up, up and away. Lots of ideas on chart busters.